Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, a set of quick tutorials to help you get started using our controls. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an application hierarchy for Win8 UI. So let's get started. I already have some documents set up on my form. I'll start by running the Document Manager Designer. The Win8 UI view supports five types of content containers, tile containers, page groups, split groups, slide groups, and pages. Switch to the designer's content container section and add one page group and two page containers. Now select the navigation tree under layout and drag and drop the required documents. For this example, I'll place the first four documents in the page group container. The last two will each go into the two page containers. As it stands, our four containers are all topmost containers. This means navigating back from each of them is impossible. Let's make some adjustments so that clicking any tile from the main group displays a corresponding document within the page group container. If a user clicks tiles 5 or 6, which were previously generated for the utils groups group, a related page container will be displayed. To do this, I'll drag and drop the page group container into the tile container's activation target node, then the other two containers into tiles 5 and 6's activation target nodes respectively. The final application hierarchy will look like the following. So, if I run the application now, you'll see that clicking on any of the four tiles on the left will activate our main group with each page located in the upper right as tabs. Users can also click the back button to return back. If a user clicks on the tiles on the right, they're brought to their respective utils pages. Stay tuned to learn how to add custom navigation actions. For now, thanks for watching and let's see what develops.